in your own way, connect to the heart of Mother Earth. Feel your energy grounding. And just take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Allowing yourself to become fully present in this now moment. Fully present in your physical body. And then fully present in your heart. Each time bringing your energy closer to you. And just for a moment feel how that feels. How is it to connect again to your body, to your field? What is it trying to share with you? Do you feel flow or contraction? And it's not about judgment. It is allowing yourself to become aware. And as you connect to your heart, see how a beautiful beam of light goes down into the center of the earth and rises up into the universe. You connect it in the middle, the central tube in your body, being realigned to the energy above and the energy below. And just for a moment, allow this realignment to happen. And everywhere there is energy out of alignment, there is disconnection. Just slowly invite it back into harmony, back into alignment. And it's you holding the intention that already brings this light. So with some, I see like a little sideways into this connection and that is fine in its own divine time it is straightening out and just for a moment feel how you receive the support the support from above and below and allow this energy to awaken even more of your light and expand your field to mare su mare ki matare va to mare su mare da me ti mata to mare su mare ki matare ta ti mate sare ki mate du ma and as this realignment happens with above and below and you are connected, Feel what this full moon and lunar eclipse is wanting to share with you. What is being triggered? What is being activated? And just for a moment, hold that energy, that awareness, that vision in your heart. And as that vision, that awareness comes into your heart, you are being invited to dance. Dancing your sacred rhythm. Dancing your sacred dance. And for some, it will look like a very swirling dance. And for other, it's like stamping on the ground. But it is allowing your full connection, your full body to express itself. Because there is a lot of what is being activated at this full moon that is stuck in the physical awareness of your body. That is stuck in your cells, in your DNA. It is holding on to old threads of you. And that is where the beautiful raindrops are coming in. See yourself for a moment. There is this cloud of energy coming above you. And these beautiful releasing raindrops are coming over you. And you are now dancing in the rain. Maybe first feeling frustration, feeling irritation, feeling wet, feeling sadness, heaviness. 
But then expand your awareness, go back into your heart. Ekumare kimate sukare kimate kumakare simate kumakare simate kare kimate kumakare simate because what this energy is inviting you is to invite your inner child to come out to play. To invite your inner child to play with you in the rain, to dance, to for a moment feel this space of just being, this space of wonder, experiencing how the water drops of the rain are falling on your body. How it looks like when you stamp with your feet into a beautiful pile of water, how the water splashes up. And just for a moment, be in this playful energy with your body, with the rain, with your inner child. And allow you two together to dance your sacred dance. Allow your body to express, your soul to express, your essence to come out in its own way. Urake sumate dumake da me tare su. Tu mare ki mada se mate kare si matu. Ta se dumale di mata da se dumale di. Ta me kumale di mata se ka me tare si. Tu mare sade kare su mate du male di. Tu mare si matare su dave du male di. Tu mare kame sade su dave du male di. Tu ma ke di ma tare su dave ka. Desi davare karesi. And as your child, your inner child is dancing in the rain, it is also exploring the edges of the rain as this cloud has a limiting end, as this cloud has an ending. So it is a cloud above you, but there was also a space next to you where there is sunlight. And you are now being invited to dance between the both. So you can stand in the rain and experience this. And then you can go stand in the sunlight and receive the codes of sun everywhere in your body, on every cell of your being. Feel how you are lighting up, how you are warming up again. And then you can play between the both, play in the rain and then go back into the sun. And just for a moment, allow your body, your cells, your awareness to become aware how it feels like dancing in the rain and then redancing in the sunlight. What difference can you notice? What is your body trying to share? E kumare kimate sukare kimate kumakare simate kumakare kimake. And what is your inner child? What does it like? I see some inner child running, creating circles in both, going in and going out, going in and going out. It is allowing this playfulness to come in again. Feeling the softness of the rain, the coolness but also the nourishing drops. And then going into the sunlight, receiving these codes of the sun ra, the nourishment, the abundant light. And as we then for a moment stand in the light of the sun, feel how every cell of your body is being illuminated, how your body starts to glow, how your heart opens even more with the playfulness of your inner child. 
the reunification within yourself of these different elements of you just choosing to be in a playful moment together. And notice that as your body starts to glow, your heart is starting to spark like a golden sun. It's starting to radiate light everywhere, everywhere around you, through your skin. You are now becoming the sun itself. And just for a moment, feel that the power that is within you, the fire, the light, the fierceness, but also the love. Feel how then every cell of your body is becoming a radiant star, a radiant sun, shining its light. And when you feel your whole body is illuminated, see how it feels when you're then stepping into the rain. Because when you're now stepping in the rain, you are the sun that is making the rainbow colors around you. Now receive these rainbow, rainbow drops, receive the raindrops on your body, but see how as they enter your field, as they come into your awareness, they transform into rainbow colors. And in that see the immense power that is within you, because you are doing this, your heart, the light within you is transforming the world around you into beauty and bliss. It is alchemizing a raindrop into rainbow colors. Suddenly you can see the whole perspective of what is around you. You can see the unlimited possibilities that are around within this one raindrop. But you're not receiving one raindrop, you're receiving unlimited raindrops that you're able to alchemize into its highest potential through the light within your heart. You are the one that can create gold. You hold that power within you, but it is reminding yourself. It is allowing every part of you to awaken, to arise, to see the wonder again that is around. But it's you choosing to see the wonder. It is you choosing to see the beauty and the bliss that is around you. Because from the limited self, you can only see the rain. And by you choosing to play into the rain, by you choosing to let the wonder of your inner child awaken, to see the edges of the rain and stand in the light, to illuminate your body, awaken every cell of your being to the light that is within you. And then go on this exploration to discover that you can alchemize these rainbow drops into rainbow colors. And just for a moment, be in awe and wonder of everything that is being presented to you. Because there are so much codes all around you. But it's you that is changing the ordinary into something extraordinary. It is you that is choosing to see something that the mind thinks as something normal or something basic. To see it as something special. To see the potential within everything that is coming on your path. And it is the same with the resistance. So the resistance, the challenge, the vibration you took into your heart. Now with the power of this alchemizing rainbow energy. What does it want to share with you? And stay in the open, stay in the expanded state. Reminding yourself that you are the sunlight. You are love. You are divine. You are infinite potential. And feel that within you. Ura ke du ma de su ka de di ma te su ma ta de ma tu ma de si ma te du ka de di ma te tu ma ta de ka se du ma te 
Umare si de su mate ruma, te si mate kumare vi, tu mare kare sa, te su mate ruma le di rave kumare sa, te su mate ruma le ki. And just for a moment, receive all the rainbow energies around you. We invite the field of the flower of love to be fully present in your field, in your awareness, connecting whenever you want with every cell of your body, with every part of your being. Now that you've become aware of this alchemizing power within you, now that you've become aware of the rainbow power you hold, inviting the field of the flower of love to recalibrate your system to the highest now timeline, supporting your body, your cells, every part of your being to let go to everything that doesn't support you anymore. Going back to the example of the air balloon, Set the intention to let go of these bags of weight that are no longer supporting you and feel that within your heart, how you lovingly release them, lovingly harmonize them back into love, back into oneness, how you thank them for how they have supported you in the past. But now it's time for you to rise into your next level. It is time for you to elevate, to go explore new heights. You have learned enough what you needed to learn from them. And in your own divine time, see how you are cutting the cord. And some may feel tears, may feel yawning. Allow whatever wants to be expressed, allow it to be. Because it's not only clearing this energy in the energy realm of you, it is also clearing this energy out of your physical body, out of the cells of your being, from your emotions. It is transforming this energy in every dimension you reside. So gift yourself this gift of releasing this energy, but also the gift of expression in any way it wants to be expressed. Because some energies are ready to transform immediately and others first need an expression, an acknowledgement, a knowing before they can be released. But no, you hold the alchemizing power within you to transform these bags into light, into love, into rainbow dust. And as these bags of sand on your air balloon are transforming into rainbow dust, see how your air balloon basket is slowly rising, how you are rising into new heights, exploring new things. And even though a part of you might feel scared, this is the only way. And your heart knows it. So within this air balloon basket, it is holding your heart as your navigation tool. It is your heart that is your true north. It is leading you. It is guiding you. And just allow this new higher vibrational set point to be recalibrated within your body, within your system. Allowing this height of your air balloon basket to be your new set point, your new zero from which your elevation is starting. So that it's not one step forward and three steps back. No, we're setting this right now. So field of the flower of love, recalibrate your body, your system, every part of your being to this new higher vibrational set point now. And just for a moment, allow that to integrate taking a deep breath to fully anchor that within your physical body as well. Reading in love and grace and breathing out everything you do not need anymore to prepare you for this full moon that is to come for this lunar eclipse. So you can fully say yes to the transformation, the magic, the new possibilities that are coming your way. Because as you're clearing in this full moon energy, you're releasing and clearing and harmonizing these bags on your air balloon. After the full moon immediately starts the energy of new creations, building momentum towards the new moon. 
And now it's you, energetic, preparing yourself to fully be able to say yes to these new adventures, to say yes to the excitement that is to come, to the rainbow energies that are around you, the magic, the bliss, the joy, the wonder. So anchor those energies in every cell of your body, in every part of your being. And then allow yourself to come fully back into your physical body, knowing that whatever you just received is being anchored for your highest and best good in co-creation with your highest self and team of light. So as we almost come to a place of completion, take a moment to thank yourself, to thank yourself for being here right now, for doing the inner work, to thank your inner child for coming out to play with you again, to thank your higher self and your team of light, to thank this sacred circle and the team of the flower of love, but also thank your physical body. Thank the experiences of the past that have brought you to this point. And thank the possibilities of the future that are awakening for you. And then come back into your heart. And just for a moment feel how expanded your heart feels, how open it is. And allow everything you just received to be integrated with ease and grace. And that the outcome be even more magical than you could ever hope for. Placing both hands on your heart to fully anchor this energy in your physical body. And within the next days, whenever you feel overwhelmed or triggered by something the full moon or the lunar eclipse is activating, just place your hands over your heart to come back to this exciting energy to come back to love, to come back to the alignment, to the universe above and the heart of Mother Earth below. To come back to your alchemizing rainbow power that is within you. To see the full spectrum of possibilities that are around you. And then allow yourself to feel your connection again, your feet connected to Mother Earth grounding your energy, allowing yourself to come fully back into the room you are in and then into your physical body. And then in your own divine time, you can slowly move your fingers and your toes. And whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes. And then I want to invite everyone to first give yourself a big hug, fully anchoring these energies into your physical body. And then I want to thank everyone for tuning in and uh, wishing you all much love. And I'll for now close the recording. So thank you.